Hello everyone, uh, Lynn here again with another video. I hope you're doing good and uh, today I'll be talking about the common reasons as to why you're experiencing uh, hair loss. So uh, there are some um, different uh, ways or different uh, causes. So uh, make sure you do the right thing, you have the right routine, you have the right hair routine. So uh, uh, let let's get back to the uh, the causes. So number one, uh, tight hairstyles. Avoid tight hairstyles, especially braids, ponytails, and bands that pull hair too tight. So that leads to hair loss and damage, especially the hairline. So number two, the harsh chemicals. Uh, frequent use of relaxers, dyes, and pumps can damage your hair and cause breakage. Um, so avoid harsh chemicals. Number three, it's hair. Uh, it's heat styling. It's heat styling. Excessive use of heat, especially flat irons, curling irons, and blow dries, uh, can damage your hair. So use less heat. If it's a must, you have to straighten your hair. Uh, especially if you know your hair is very weak, avoid the heat styling. Uh, number four, if you have uh, poor hair care, you need to uh, to incorporate, a, um, you need to have a healthy hair routine. So especially uh, when it comes to moisturizing your hair and um, trimming, especially when it comes to um, the edges, not the edges, the ends, the strands, the end, to avoid uh, mostly most people you usually find them having uh, split ends. So when you trim your edge, your ends, your yeah, the strands at the ends, it usually reduces the um, split ends. Uh, number five, it's gen genetics. Most people usually have the inheritance of hair loss or thinning tendencies. So uh, make sure you have a bal you need to. Um, to take a balanced diet so as to um, help in uh, having a healthy hair so when it comes to genetics there is uh, there is not much that you can do about it but make sure you have a, a balanced diet uh, number six it's uh, hormonal changes especially the pregnant moms uh, uh, when it comes to menopause or uh, th thyroid disorders. Uh, make sure you drink lots of water so uh, and have a balanced diet. Number seven, uh, scalp condition. Some people usually have scalp conditions like eczema, uh, dandruff, and psoriasis. And other scalp issues can lead to hair loss and damage. So there are different uh, ways you can um, you can uh, do away with the dandruff. I have already uploaded the videos, so kindly check on my videos there, so you'll uh, get the solution. Number eight, uh, it's aging, natural hair thinning and loss that occurs with aging. So drink lots of water and have a balanced diet. Uh, number nine diet and nutrition lack of essential nutrients vitamins and minerals necessary for hair growth i have already uploaded the video on the same so kindly check out uh, number 10 stress and tension physical or emotional stress that causes hair loss and damage so avoid or reduce reduce anything that will um cause you to have um, lots of stress kindly avoid and make sure you have a balanced diet make sure you uh, drink lots of water incorporate uh, the the um there are uh, herbs i don't know if i'll call them herbs like rosemary like cloves uh, that you can uh, that, that that you can use on your hair especially uh, when it comes to moisturizing your hair so the main the main uh, issue here is to have a healthy hair routine 
have a healthy hair routine especially when it comes to uh, your wash days make sure you have a healthy hair routine uh, when it comes to diet have a balanced diet and avoid stress so when it comes to braiding and whatever make sure you you avoid the tight braiding avoid tight hairstyles avoid stressing your um your ages so let's meet in the next video and if you're new here kindly subscribe thank you for watching and bye